Well, day one, we had an hour, we had an hour delay because of the wind. I told y'all, it's supposed to be seven mile an hour winds. I don't know how you get seven mile an hour winds with gusts of 30. So it's gonna be fun driving across that lake this morning because I'm not putting in there. It's gonna be fun driving to my first. It's gonna be fun all day long, possibly. I'm telling you, it's not supposed to be like this in March. This late in March. But it looks like for once in my life, even though I might not catch them, I still made the right decision, I think, I think going into this. Looking at the weather, going, yep, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bad one. So I chose fishing based on that. Like I said, didn't mean I made the right call. But I feel better about it now. Let's go. Let's get this thing on the road. All right. <laughs> oh, you might want to stop and watch this video. So, I don't even know where to begin. It was blowing a little bit this morning. I get that. I mean, it was blowing. I did not realize how bad it was blowing. Check this out.
I say, when I, I don't know, I want to put the whole video, but it'd be 40, this was 45 minutes of this. It was crazy. It was crazy. There were times where I'm like, well, okay, let's see what goes through my head. One time I was like, what am I even doing? Like, what am I doing? This is, this is ridiculous. One point in time, I was like, ooh, am I actually going to be all right? Like, what if something happens? Like, what if, what if my motor stops? What if, I don't know. There was a little bit of that just for a second. Then there were times like it was no big deal. And, and then I was like, golly, how, how, how long is this going to take me? Like, is this going to take me? I don't know. I know how, it was, I was like, I couldn't see the end in sight. Heck, I couldn't even see the bridge forever because the waves were so big. All I could see was Russell in front of me. Russell was in front of me. He was a four boats behind me. And I thought maybe I could run the Louisiana side and get out of the wind a little bit. I accidentally took a turn to the right and I was like, I cannot make that. Um, that was going to be bad. So then I had to like figure out how to turn around. And when I did that, I saw like three boats get to where I was at. And then they were like, nope. And they all turned around. So I looked up and it was me, Russell was in front of me, and some guy behind me. And I was like, this guy behind me is making it. It, it. it was wild. Wild. It's been a long time. And then, if you look, it's all nice and sunny. Now, it was all cloudy and nasty. And I don't even know. It, it, then it died down to basically calm Wh whatever it took me i didn't look to see how long it took me to get all the way in but where i was going took me nine minutes it, it probably was less than 20 minutes for the entire ride but it, at one point it took me nine minutes what to get back to this one spot, which took me no doubt 20 something to get there. It was wild. It wasn't that good for me today. It, it was just kind of tough. The, the problem was, uh, well, I knew this front was gonna mess some things up and it did. I mean, the front definitely messed some things up and then I, they just didn't bite today. Like I knew it got tough. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. They delayed us taking off for an hour. So that was one thing. So the morning bite, I've always been able to catch two or three in the morning fairly quick. Um, I, I, I realized something today about how they bite and to where I'll catch some random ones. I did not catch any random ones. I had one random one on today that was by far a random one and I, I lost it. It was the only fish I lost. It was probably a three or four pounder. It would have probably cold. Mm, at least a pound and a half, two pounds. Other, I had quite a few bites today. Let's see, I, I had bites that missed. I caught small ones, which I hadn't caught any non-keepers. And what else happened? Oh yeah, so we missed an hour of, of they didn't let us go till eight o'clock. And then it took me, what would normally take me 20 minutes, took me an hour. So, I lost an hour and a half pretty much right off the bat. And then I will have a lot longer time to fish tomorrow. I'm gonna have two and a half hours more to fish tomorrow. So that should be pretty good. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all. It's uh, just wasn't rough. The, I, I will say that hopefully, is this a rock? I don't know if those were bones. I, I will say maybe tomorrow, 
I think they're gonna bite better. I also kind of figured them out better. I knew going into this thing and when I got there, this blue one, my, my truck and boat are there. Did, oh, there you are. Turn around, like keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going down to that boat ramp and then make it and, and do a U-turn and then we're the next house. I can see you to your left, but, but I mean, you, all right. So my buddy Blake is, I had to come out here cause I figured he'd see me. He took the wrong turn. So he's, he's making the turn right there. And then he's gonna come back. We're gonna go eat something. Uh, let's see, Blake beat me today. Russell beat me today. Uh, Russell caught a giant in the last couple minutes. That's a whole nother story. I was, uh, I had like eight to 10 minutes. Cause I couldn't, I didn't know how long it was gonna take me to get back because it was such a long drive to get there. So I was like, man, I'm gonna go looking for like 10 minutes, even if it's just for tomorrow. And I was like, I could either go into this pocket or this pocket. I didn't know which one I could run into. Apparently I chose wrong because Russell said, he, he's like, I caught a nine or 10 pounder right at the, at the very end of the day. And I pulled it into that pocket right over there. I'm like, that's the pocket I was gonna run into. So that happened to me. Let me get over. Hey. It's wild. I don't know. I, I caught one of my big, big ones at the very end. I will say this. You can't catch any random ones. I was around tons of boats, never saw a fish get caught. I think I know exactly where they're at in the sense of tomorrow, depending on if I catch them or what goes down, I'm going to definitely go up there. I'm a fish and hopefully I'm out of there by 11 and I can go try to catch a monster bag, maybe looking and maybe catch a big one there too. I don't know. We're going to see. Blake, Blake's just pulling up. I'm about to go get something to eat. I don't even have to retire or do nothing. You beat me with four. I like even numbers, not odd. <laughs> well, Russell beat us both. I know. Did you hear what he did? Uh uh. Caught like a giant with like the last second, like a nine or 10 pounder. Dang. He pulled it into a pocket and saw her. Like right, like he was like, like I was, I was told my guy, I was like, I don't know if we should go there or there. And he goes, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to go over there. He pulled in that one and he goes, yeah, I was just sitting right there. Flipped up on it and caught it. Freaking. All right. I'm out.